take Skagit County where they've only given doses equal to about 3.8% of the population. But in Clallam County, it's as high as 11%. One small county in eastern Washington hasn't reported a single vaccination to the Department of Health yet, although only about 2,200 people live there. The state's overall vaccination rate is slowly getting closer to its goal of 45,000 doses a day, but we are hearing stories of outright frustration on the front lines. Kayla Lafferty reports. I spoke with a man who made an appointment for his grandfather to get a dose of the vaccine here at Kent Family Practice, only to show up and find this sign on the door saying their appointment isn't valid. This is frustrating to say the least. Rex Carlin started looking for vaccine appointments for his 89 year old grandfather as soon as the state moved into phase 1B1. He hopped right on the State Department of Health's website and found Kent Family Practice. I got an appointment for uh, next week for my grandfather. But he never got a confirmation email, so he called and emailed multiple times and didn't hear back. A family member drove to the clinic and found this note posted on the door. It says, if you have a pending appointment, do not enter the building. Your appointment is not approved, is not confirmed, and will not take place today. The frustration for us to find out that this appointment that we scheduled um, isn't happening, but that we don't actually know anything from the doctor's office perspective is extremely frustrating. We emailed and called as well and ran into the same problem. The mailbox belonging to Kent's family practice. So we went there to ask them what's going on, and the owner, Dr. Braden Anderson, decided to speak with us. We were approved to give vaccine, and a shipment was in the works. We were posted on the public site, but we had no physical vaccine in the clinic. He says they applied to get 3,000 doses of the vaccine per week for all three of their locations, but the state ended up only giving them 100 doses. Our three clinics treat 22,000 active patients. A hundred doses doesn't get an inch into treating our own patient population, let alone make a dent in the community. One of the big frustrations we heard was the lack of communication. So just what happened there? Yeah, so very frustrating lack of communication on our end, and it's it's not adequate. He says their system was flooded with appointment requests and it stalled. They were unable to shut it down for three days, and in that time, over 6,000 people had made appointments. We have not found a way to respond back to people in as in the volume that they're able to put in requests and questions and emails. He created a software to respond to the appointment requests and emails, but he says it could take days before he gets to everyone. Our hope is that we can look forward to higher allocations in the future. As for Carlin and his grandfather, they're back to square one. Where do you go from here? Well, we just go back to that website, the state's website, and go up and down the links and see who's taking appointments. In Kent, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.